Now we're going to be working on simplifying rational expressions. And in simplifying rational expressions, you should already know how to factor out some polynomials using the different factoring techniques that you need to learn in algebra. So let's start with problem number one. In number one, we have negative 36x cubed all over 42x squared. Now the idea of factoring or simplifying your rational expressions is factoring your numerator and your denominator so you can cancel out the common term. So for 36, if we factor this out, we'll have 6 times 6 and our x's will be 1, 2, 3 x's. And for the bottom, we have 42, which is 6 times 7, and we have 2 x's. So factoring or simplifying rational expressions is basically canceling out the common term in your numerator and your denominator and whatever is left over will be your simplest form of your rational expression and in this case 6 and x will be our leftover and 7 at the bottom and don't forget the sign which is negative because the original rational expression is negative so this is how we factor out rational expression by canceling out common term by factoring out your numerator and your denominator and uh, if you want to use the law of exponents, you are simply subtracting basically the exponent in your numerator and your denominator. And whatever the difference is, that would be the leftover or the x or the variable that you will have in your rational expression. Now for problem number two, we have 2x minus 4 all over x minus 2. And uh, by inspection, we know that we can simplify the numerator by factoring, uh, factoring it out using a GCF of 2. So if 2 is outside, there will be x minus 2 that will be left inside. And you know this is correct because if you distribute 2 to x, it's 2x, 2x minus 2. It, I mean 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And the bottom is already in its simplest form. So in this case, the common term that we can cancel will be x minus I'm sorry, this one is x minus 2, not x minus 4. x minus 2, and you're left with 2 as your uh, simplest form for your rational expression. This is for problem number 3. And for problem number 5, we have x minus 5 all over x squared minus 10x plus 25. And in this case, we now we are just going to copy the numerator but the denominator we can factor it out by factoring quadratics so the factors of 25 that gives you negative 10 when you add them up would be negative 5 and negative 5 negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 and when you add them up will be negative 10 so we have x minus 5 and x minus 5 as its factored form and by doing so we'll be able to eliminate x minus 5 and what is left is going to be the simplest form of our rational expression. So that's the third example that we have and for the last example number seven we have 9x squared plus 81x all over x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x. Now in this example we know that we're going to be simplifying the numerator and the denominator by factoring both the numerator and the denominator. By the top, we're going to use the GCF of 9x, and you are left with x plus 9. And you know you did it correctly, or your factored form is correct. If you multiply this out or distribute it, it will become nine, um, it will still be 9x squared plus 81. And then the denominator. The common term is also x, so we can factor it out, and you are left with x squared plus 8x minus 9. Notice that we have a quadratic equation in our parentheses, so we can still factor this out. So you are going to be using two factoring techniques for your denominator, and by factoring quadratics, negative 9 will have factors of 9 and 1 and it will equal to positive 8 if 1 is negative. So your factors will be 9 and negative 1, which means if you modify your function or your rational expression, you have 9x times x plus 9 
all over x times x plus 9 and x minus 1 and now that all your terms are in factored form we can now cancel x plus 9 and we can also cancel out x and whatever is left over will be the simplest form of the rational expression which is 9 all over x minus 1 and this is how we uh, simplify rational expressions by factoring